What is good, YouTube? It's your it's boy, boy Bates. Bates. And I got this Destiny video that IGN put up. It has no audio in it for a specific reason because um, I don't want no copyright issues. So I'm going to link the actual video in the description so you can watch it for yourself. I just wanted to talk about a few things. Um, I wasn't really too hyped about Destiny. I didn't even really get to play the beta. I played about an hour um, of the beta. I was out of town. And um, I just wasn't too hyped because the last real, like, Bungie game that I played was probably um, Halo 3, made by Bungie, I believe. And um, I'm just not a big fan of the Halo series or anything that looks like Halo. It's just something that, you know, I, I just really couldn't get into. But then once I watched this video and he was explaining certain stats with the Titan class... Um, it kind of struck me that they really, you know, went in depth. Yes, I was told by my friends, you know, that, you know, the game is very detailed and they, you know, it's a bunch of classes and a bunch of abilities and it's real, it's like real immersed in, you know, what they're trying to create. But I didn't believe it, you know. Um, I didn't really believe the hype. The hype was, you know, more so on the inside, you know. I wasn't making no statuses, wasn't making no tweets or no Instagram, nothing. And uh, it was just more of the inside hype. But this guy, he was talking about your abilities in this Titan uh, Striker subclass. And he was talking about basically you have your set abilities at the top and you can upgrade them. For those that have played the beta, you already know about this. But then there comes a point in time to where you can kind of change your stats around. Uh, it's called the Titan Codex. I thought that was pretty cool. And um, gear can actually help you to unlock abilities which I thought was pretty cool uh, so you have on gauntlets or boots or even helmets that will allow you to get stuff I guess early then you can actually get it he's a level 29 from my understanding I thought that um, the cap was 20 hearing from one of my friends but from what he's playing it seems like it's 29 he's playing with a exotic weapon it's called the red death I think that that's pretty cool in the game that they actually have guns, you know, that people can uh, sought after. How he got it, I'm not sure. Maybe it was on a raid. Uh, maybe it was in a crucible or an iron banner. Um, I barely know information just off from what my friends talk about or from what I read or from what I've seen. Um, I do apologize for not having any clips of the Destiny beta. Wasn't able to get any, wasn't able to record nothing but from playing it um i did have fun i think me as a person i would probably use the warlock class with a sniper shotgun um maybe like a rocket launcher as uh my heavy ammo um i think the sniping in the game is probably the best i've seen from bungie um all the hits were accurate if you were off you were off it's nothing no lag shots you know no getting shot around the corner nothing like that um, I can really respect what they're doing with this game now, being as though that, you know, certain gear can actually stack certain stuff that makes your abilities regenerate. Like, for for instance, if you have a helmet that has on, you know, um, a certain amount of intellect, or you have on uh, gauntlets or boots that have on a certain amount of intellect and strength, it allows, let's say, your melee to recharge, or it'll allow... Um, Let's say you're supercharged to recharge faster when you do certain moves. Stuff like that, it makes you want to explore the game even more. It makes you want to, you know, do raids or um, go through the storyline. Now, if there's certain gear that you just can't get on a raid or you can't get in any other place, but you have to play the storyline, stuff like that, it makes the game last longer. Um, the game doesn't get old with just playing multiplayer. And just from what you can upgrade on your abilities, whether, you know, first you're doing just like a regular like power bomb or something with this Titan class. And then now he's doing like a Superman uh, punch. And um, I've seen a bunch of other stuff with people that use this class. I probably won't use this Titan class. It's not a class that um, uh, I saw that, you know, I would be familiar with. Uh, I would feel natural with. I will probably, as I said, even use the Warlock or Hunter class. Um, whatever class has the pistol with the throwing knives, I want that class because 
I want to disrespect people. You know, I want to be on like a domination point and uh, use my supercharge and pull out that revolver and just start capping people and then throw the um, throw a knife and you know just disrespect and record and have fun. I can't wait to play this game with my friends. Uh, I know they're all gonna clown me because um, you know I haven't really been too hyped about it. But, you know, from watching this video and really like trying to break down the certain guns and certain stuff that you can get and um, having that notoriety that, you know, yes, you know, you're the man, you know, you have this gear that nobody has and you know, you're trying to complete these raids and you're trying to, I guess, be the best. You know, it just, uh, I guess it just let loose the hype beast, I guess. I mean, I really don't know what else too much to say. And I know I made a video in the past of the games that, you know, I was hyped about in the next generation of what's coming out. And this was one of those games. And uh, I really kind of dialed back because I wanted to see um, what the game was going to be like. And I guess not playing the beta and just hearing the reaction from people. Because I knew if I would have played the beta, I just would have been, you know, overly hyped. If I would have spent more than three days playing the beta, let me correct myself. Because I only played it for roughly an hour. And, um... Just sitting back and reading and watching this video and other videos from the developers and um, IGN and Bungie, um, I can say that this is one of the games that I'm really hyped for besides Far Cry. Call of Duty is Call of Duty. Um, Battlefield is Battlefield. But having a co-op experience, carry on to multiplayer experience, carry on to trying to complete certain challenges, makes a game last longer than you would probably ever think but Bungie has to do only one task well multiple tasks uh, the game wasn't lagging when I played it make sure that the security is top tier nobody can access gear or jump levels or have certain lobbies or whatever the case is um, just keep the game you know as clean as possible you know people are progressing doing stuff the way they're supposed to do it if any glitches come out you know what I'm saying? Just take care of it. But if this video has helped you out in any type of way, definitely hit that like button for more videos. Subscribe, Subscribe to your boy, your boy base. base. And I'll see you on the next one.